Alright, today we're going to discuss spanking and chunking. Um, these two kind of things are generally written the same way on tablature. Uh, they're designated by an X instead of a note head. But they sound a little bit different and um, they're mastering each one of them. It requires a little bit different work. The spank involves slapping the top of the uke like that. The chunk involves muting a chord by letting up the pressure on the chord itself and if there's a lot of open strings like there is in this C chord placing a finger across it and you get a so a spank sounds like and the chunk sounds like they both don't have any um, any any melodic or harmonic content. They're just a chunking sound. So a lot of people call both these techniques a chunk. They call this a chunk and they call this a chunk. I like to kind of separate them because um, it requires a separate set of practices to get each one down. The spank pattern. So, so you're going down, up, spank, up, down, up, spank, up, down, up, spank, up, down, up, spank, up. The chunk pattern is very simple, similar. You're going down, up, chunk, up. But the chunk is performed by, as I said, muting the strings. That means you just lay your finger, you don't want to press, you'll get that. You want to touch the strings, and, and this finger on the C needs to come up so it does that. Now if you don't put your finger across it, you still get those three guys. So you have to, and here's what it sounds like. Now, we're going to, I'm going to use um, an you never can tell by Chuck Berry as an example here. And it also has the um, G7 chord in it. Now for this, the technique's a little bit different. What you want to do is you want to just, you want to loosen your, your grip on the chord and just be touching the strings. And you just want to pick those bottom ones. You could sneak your pinky around or break the chord apart and go and go like this. But at the speed this song's going by, that's not very practical, so you end up doing this. You notice that I get, I get kind of an ugly, ugly sounding chunk there at first, because I wasn't completely releasing my fingers. When I finally did, Um, I got a better sound. So let's check out You Never Can Tell. It was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished him well. You could tell that he had a truly love, Mademoiselle. And now the young Monsieur and Madame. Chapel bells. Say la vie, say the old folks. It goes to show you never can tell. They furnished up in a. And that's where the second verse comes in. So here's what it sounds like uh, using a using a spank. They they furnished up an apartment with the true room a robot sale.
spanking and chunking. As usual, have fun, practice hard.